What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel. So, as you can see, change of scenery. Not at the shop today. I don't actually live there. I live here. <laughs> but sometimes it feels like I have to live there in order to keep my things here. But, uh, long week at the shop just brings up a good subject on uh, work at the shop. So check it out. Shut up and sit down. So I had a long week at the shop. You guys can see in the thumbnail the 48 we worked on this week. But it brings up a, a question. You know, the guy, I guess, spent a couple days looking for a shop to even work on his truck. Um, he was saying at a couple shops in the area by me, um, you know, said they didn't work on them. Or, you know, I, I don't know the means of, you know, if it, if it wasn't worth working on it for them or they just didn't know how or didn't have the tools or know how to work on it. You know, I've said it in my videos, I never really turn down work. You know, I, I mean, I've, I've gotten calls in the past, you know, people ask me if I work on PlayStation, I told them, bring it on down. I got tools, you know, we'll figure it out. You know, I don't care, I'll work on a washer and dryer if you, you know, tow it over to the shop, we'll get it running for you. But, uh, guy came in, 1948 Chevy pickup, super clean. I mean, the paintwork on this thing had to cost him over 10 grand. You know, it was definitely a nice truck, sitting on bags. He had, uh, that was the issue he was concerned about. <clears throat> he had uh, he had a tank leak on one of them. But, uh, you know, he's telling me he's going to these shops, going in there. You know, first thing he asked the shop or the shop owner or manager or whatever, do you work on these cars? And I guess he told me a couple of them, you know, said no. And then they're like, well, what do you need? And then he said, he's like, well, why do I need to tell you what I need if you don't work on them or not? You know, and I happen to uh, seen the guy driving in, in the area. I've seen the car pass by my shop a few times here and there. So I, I know he's the local guy. But uh, he gets to the shop, you know, we start talking, he asks me if I work on him, and I say, of course, of course I do. You know, I don't care if it's custom, I don't care what it is. You know, at that point, I didn't even know what year it was. But, uh, you know, he got it in, we got it taken care of. I got some clips, you guys check it out. This thing was a nice truck, really nice truck. But uh, check it out for yourself. So you guys can see, get this thing in there. The bags work, it's just, you know, they would air up and then after 10, 15 minutes, you know, one of the tanks were leaking just from water condensation. There's no water separator in there. You know, I didn't get any shots underneath it. Um, that thing was a pain in the rack by itself. But, uh, you know, going through it, you guys can see kind of everything he has done to it. So as you guys can see, this was a fun one to work on, you know, after I kind of ran through it and find out, you know, what's he, he's got in it, what kind of custom work was done to it. You know, they definitely took the time and spent the extra time on the spots that matters on it. You know, underneath you can see a, it does need some work. I set up some future work with the guy, but, uh, you know, it was a fun little project. He ended up scoring the tanks uh, place in California. The guy was willing to pay expedite shipping, got the tanks pretty much the next day, knocked them out. But some of the gas tank work and the fuel line work and the airbag suspension work, 
I mean, nice stuff, nice stuff. I don't know the full history on it, but I'm pretty sure at this point I got a customer for life. Alright guys, so that's it. We're going to wrap this one up, but brings up that question where, uh, you know, do you or the shop you work at, you know, decline work? You know, do you pick and choose? Does your shop pick and choose what they want to work on? You know, do they not work on something because it's too heavy? You know, I can understand if it's a heavy truck and you don't have the racks, you know, or the safety equipment to, to work on them, or diesel if you don't have guys in there that know diesels, but, you know, I, like I said, I don't care what it is. You bring it to my shop, we'll at least attempt to fix it. If not, we'll learn how to fix it and fake it until we make it because that's just how it is. You know, I'm, I'm not only just an auto mechanic. I, I fix things, you know, and, and no matter what it is, whether it's a small motor, big motor, car, truck, van, SUV, bus, you know, you land an airplane into my parking lot, bring it on in. As long as the wings fit through there, we'll work on it. We don't even care. But leave it down in the comments what you guys think. Does your shop, you know, does her work just try to take in gravy work or some of the easy work or do you work on fleets all day or you know you guys down south working on those tractors and all that stuff you know does your shop owner decline work you know does he pick and choose what he wants to work on and all that stuff for me you guys know the answer i work on anything you want to bring it we'll figure it out so but wrap this one up like comment subscribe check you guys in the next one signing out